With Chicago's population of 2.7 million people and 306 skyscrapers, it's hard to imagine the city having a forest of any kind. Yet, the Chicago Park District works to maintain the city's 508 parks, over 8,100 acres of green space. Within these parks lies a temperate deciduous forest, prevalent in the mid-latitude areas of eastern China, Japan, Europe, and the eastern region of the United States. Temperate deciduous forests are characterized by their four seasons, where the leaves of oak, maple, hickory, chestnut, and beech trees change color in the autumn and fall off their branches by winter. Though thousands of plant and animal species live in these temperate deciduous forests, Chicago has one rapidly multiplying, cuddly creature. Amongst the variety of shrubs, perennial herbs, and mosses shaded by deciduous trees lies the eastern cottontail rabbit. Last spring, the Urban Wildlife Institute at the Lincoln Park Zoo found 200 or so wild rabbits just on zoo grounds alone, translating to about 30 rabbits per acre. The eastern cottontail is a herbivore, feasting on grass, clovers, and fruits in the summer, and barks and shrubs in the winter. Seems pretty harmless and adorable, right? So what exactly is the Chicago forest rabbit problem? Because of the concrete's absorption of sun rays, as well as industrialization downtown, eastern cottontails flood to the plant beds of busy city streets for its warmth. As the rabbits adjust to the dying off populations of ash trees, eastern cottontails are finding other shrubs and bark in Lincoln Park and downtown to munch on. The horticulture department at the Lincoln Park Zoo estimates that the rabbits ate $15,000 worth of landscaping just during the 2014-2015 winter season. In their forest food web, eastern cottontails are preyed upon mostly by Chicago's over 2,000 urban coyotes. While they have up to 25 babies a year, the rabbit has a death rate of 70% in the winter's too cold conditions. Not to mention, 40-60% to 60 of the rabbit's population was affected by tularemia, or rabbit fever, in 2013. So where are all these rabbits coming from? There are many factors affecting both the eastern cottontails and the deciduous forests that they live in. First, the global climate change. Chicago's average temperature has risen about 2.6 degrees Fahrenheit since 1980. Trees and plants flower earlier in the spring and frosts occur later in the fall. There have also been several major heat waves in recent years. With abnormally warm winters, the 70% of eastern cottontails that aren't supposed to survive the winter are. The lengthening of the warm season attributes to more frequent reproduction. Human influence this that perpetrate this climate change include the emission of greenhouse gases, something very prevalent in this busy, industrious city of Chicago. Humans also influence the growing population of eastern cottontails by setting out food and water for them to eat. This results in a population surge that takes a toll on the ecosystem around it. Because the rabbits diet on bark, more and more trees are vulnerable to insect infestation. As the Chicago Park District has to spend more money maintaining the forests, they are forced to shift their attention from other aspects of the ecosystem that may need that monetary aid.